For this demo, what I've done is I've welded a piece of one inch square tube to my table and set up two T-joints in two different locations, one above the middle of my chest and one below the middle of my chest. The reason for that is, depending on where that vertical weld is gonna be, will kind of determine how you're gonna hold and position your gun. Typically, when it's above your head, you wanna have it in the most comfortable position you can, meaning possibly turning the gun angle like so, getting 45 degree work angle, 45 degree drop angle. If it's below the center of your chest, what I like to do is I invert the gun, place it in 45 degrees, 45 degrees, and I have uh, my work angle and my drop angle. Now, the key to this, as you are welding, you don't want to pitch your work angle. So if you have 45, 45, and you have an inverted gun like this, you don't wanna walk it down so you go perpendicular to your weld. You wanna make sure that you drop evenly 45, 45. The natural tendency for vertical welding downhill, you're gonna to wanna to go fishing. You're not gonna realize you're pulling away. So make sure you keep your stick out short. You wanna keep it at that 3 8 inch distance from your nozzle to your workpiece, okay? So when you're up above like this, you want to brace and support set up. That's another thing about vertical welding. Just like any other welding, you want to make sure you brace and support the gun for basic welding. So if, let's say, this corner joint had walls going out to infinity, you can put the, the heel of your hand against the wall and walk yourself down. But if you don't have that, what if you don't have this post, maybe you're doing an outer open corner joint. If you're doing an outer open corner joint in vertical position, maybe a magnet. Stick a magnet to the piece, you have a nice perch to set up with. And then you just walk it down. You have to be careful because your hand is going to be collapsing, moving the puddle down, and just carrying the fall of the puddle. Now, if you're below chest level, Maybe you can't span your hand out enough. Maybe there's not enough distance or there's too much distance there to actually compensate to drop. You can use anything. You got, a, you got one of these hanging out, put that right there and then brace and support and drop your hand to a terminal point. As soon as you hit that terminal point, you stop. You can move this to the side, clean it off and start it again. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do 45 degree work angle, 45 degree drop angle and then we're just gonna do the falling leaf. We're trying to make eighth of an inch legs on either side, keeping that puddle the same, uh, the same size as we drop through our weld. So, going through the checklist, we are going to have 30 CFH. We're set for an eighth of an inch because we have eighth inch material set up to our, our uh, demo here. And our work clamp is down. You wanna gear up, make sure you wear all the proper safety gear, and here we go.